welcome viewers so this is a continuation video of enzyme kinetics and in the last video we have derived equation given by Michaelis and Menten correct and all the steps would be I think very very clear to you so we will now move forward that what hypothesis Michaelis and Menten taken into account when they were deriving the equation so uh, they were studying the enzyme invertase and their theory was based on the following assumptions and there were five assumptions and uh, the first one is in their hypothesis only a single substrate and a single product are involved we have uh, we know that we have taken equation e plus s is equal e s is equal e plus b correct single enzyme single substrate single product correct the second is the process proceeds essentially to completion means when enzyme bound with substrate it must give enzyme free enzyme along with product correct there is no un incomplete step and the process essentially completes third point the concentration of the substrate is much greater than that of the enzyme in the system and I hope you remember this point at the start point of the um, uh, their study we have taken concentration of substrate or assume that that concentration of substrate is very very uh, greater than the enzyme in the system the fourth one is that uh, essentially an intermediate enzyme substrate complex is formed the AS complex and the fifth and the last is that the rate of decomposition of the substrate is proportional to the concentration of enzyme substrate complex means as the substrate decomposes that uh, ratio is proportional to the concentration of enzyme substrate complex formed in the reaction means the more the enzyme substrate complex formed in the reaction the more is the decomposition of the substrate but many enzyme catalyzed reactions does not complete in a single step rather they take two or more substrates like and the rates of such reactions can also be analyzed by this approach means if any enzyme catalyzed reaction with two or more substrate then the rate of such reaction can also be analyzed by this approach correct so there are a few exceptions also of Michaelis Menten kinetics and these exceptions are allosteric enzymes or regulatory enzymes because they have more than two subunits and active sites they do not obey the Michaelis Menten kinetics rather they give sigmoidal kinetics in the graph on the right of this slide you found that the above graph the parabolic graph it is the Michaelis Menten graph you found when you plot concentration of substrate uh, versus the velocity of the reaction and the second graph is for allosteric enzyme have you seen this kind of graph before in my previous lectures yes this kind of graph you obtained when we were discussing hemoglobin in proteins the cooperative binding correct so always try to correlate what you are studying with versus what you have studied correct so it is very very important to discuss the significance of km and vmats we have studied both the terms in the previous lecture and we know the definitions of both the terms also but what is the significance of both these terms in enzyme kinetics so the first one is and you are very much familiar with this point that km or Michaelis Menten constant is equal to the concentration of substrate which gives half the numeral maximum velocity the Vmax correct this is was the definition of km second it is noteworthy that for any enzyme substrate system km has a characteristic value which is independent of the enzyme concentration means km is not going to change when you change the concentration of enzyme and it differs greatly from enzyme to enzyme and even for the different substrate for the same enzyme 
it's a unique property of the enzyme and it's a unique property of the uh, it and even for different substrate yes and uh, okay so it differs greatly from enzyme to enzyme and even for different substrate for the same enzyme because KM shows significance with the uh, KM means affinity or binding with the substrate if substrate is different KM is different correct third KM value is used as a measure of enzymes affinity for its substrate KM always show the affinity of enzyme for its substrate but lower the KM value higher the affinity for the substrate you need to remember correct KM shows enzymes affinity but lower the KM value higher the enzyme affinity for the substrate correct keep every point very very clear in your mind fourth point the km value also indicates the lowest concentration of the substrate the enzyme can recognize before reaction catalysis can occur got it because if the affinity is high even lower concentration of substrate gives the result correct so KM value indicates the lowest concentration of the substrate the enzyme can recognize before reaction catalysis can occur. Don't be confused. Next point, the enzymes KM describe the sub substrate con concentration at which half the enzymes active sites are occupied by the substrate. Because KM, also, KM uh, is equal to the concentration of substrate, which gives half the maximum velocity, V max upon 2. Uh, we, we have used this equation in the previous lecture. Also, this is also synonymous with this point that an enzyme KM also describes the substrate concentration at which half the enzyme active sites are occupied by the substrate. If enzyme is halfly, um, uh, if active sites of enzymes are halfly occupied by the substrate, then also the the concentration of substrate uh, is equal to the value of Km. Correct. And the last point is the maximum rate or the Vmax reveals the turnover number of an enzyme, that is the number of molecules being catalyzed per second and this varies considerably from 10 in the case of lysozyme to 600,000 in the case of carbonic anhydrase. We will discuss the last point in the upcoming slide so that it will be more clear to you. Now we will introduce a new term to you the dissociation constant or the KD. When any reaction happens inside biological system just focus uh, your eyes on the right side of the equation E plus S is equal ES is equal E plus P. Just this reaction, you are very much familiar with this equation and with uh, showing all the rate constant for the forward and the backward reactions, correct? So, <coughs> the Michaelis Menten constant here is K minus uh, 1 plus K2 divided by K1. What is K minus 1? Rate of decomposition of ES into E plus S. What is K2? Rate of decomposition of ES into E plus P divided by K1, rate of formation of enzyme substrate complex and we studied in the last video as well. Now, when K2 is rate limiting, uh, we, uh, we know that the second step of the, the reaction is the rate limiting. So, if it is rate limiting means it is slow and if it is very very slow, if the reaction E S is equal E plus P is very very slow, you can ignore this K2 value and then the formula becomes K minus 1 upon K1. Then Km is equal to K minus 1 upon Km is if K2 is very very low and at that point the Michaelis Menten constant becomes dissoci dissociation constant which is equal to K minus 1 upon K1 correct now when uh, what if you need to define in the terms of concentration like now see the left side of the equation the e plus s is equal e s having forward and backward rate constants only correct 
through this equation you can easily uh, elucidate that the association constant the ka is equal concentration of uh, the product form divided by concentration of the substrates correct where ka is an equilibrium constant so if the concentration of es e and s is given then what would be the dissociation constant dissociation constant is always uh, be just inverse of the association constant means kd is equal to concentration of e into concentration of s divided by concentration of es if we have taken this equation under consideration and uh, through this equation the dissociation constant has units of m while through this equation uh, it has no units simply it is k minus 1 divided by k1 got it now uh, we will move towards another constant which is known as k cat or the turnover number sometimes the value of k2 uh, please see the right equation this equation e plus s is equal es is equal ep is equal e plus b correct you have not seen this kind of equation before because uh, we simply use uh, in our equation which we are studying uh, in those equations es or enzyme substrate complex easily gives e plus p there is no formation of ep in between but in some cases reactions are multiple step process correct and km then becomes a complex function and in such case the rate limiting step constant is defined as k cat got it so k cat is nothing but if any uh, reaction is a multi step process then the rate limiting step constant is is defined as k cat correct so uh, sometimes however sometimes the k2 can be much much greater than k minus 1 the k2 can be much much greater than k minus 1 means rate of decomposition of es is greater than rate of decomposition of es into enzyme plus substrate in that case km becomes equal to k2 upon k1 you ignore k minus 1 and in the from the previous equation you can write that km is equal k2 minus k2 divided by k1 now switching on to k cat further so k cat is defined as a turnover number which is equivalent to the number of substrate molecules converted to product in a given unit of time on a single enzyme molecule when enzyme is saturated with substrate you need to uh, remember this definition very clearly correct so we can say that k cat is equal v max divided by total enzyme concentration by v max because substrate when enzyme is saturated with substrate the velocity become v, v max you remember and when enzyme is saturated with substrate you can take total enzyme concentration um, in the equation correct so k cat then uh, becomes equal to v max divided by total concentration of enzyme or simply you can uh, uh, calculate the or you can explore the uh, v max value from this equation like v max x equal to et et goes there and v max then equal to k cat multiplied by total concentration of enzyme and if you keep this value in the michaelis menten equation which is v not is equal to v max into s upon km plus s when you replace v max with this value you will find that v not is equal to k cat multiplied by total concentration of enzyme and the rest would be same correct now comparing catalytic efficiencies of enzymes so we have studied km we have studied k cat as well but the ratio of k cat and km is termed as specificity constant and it defines the kinetic efficiency of enzymes which is the rate constant for conversion of enzyme plus substrate to enzyme plus product correct so what is the catalytic efficiency of enzyme uh, when substrate is converted to product in the presence of enzyme and 
if the value of k cat upon k m is higher the specificity constant would be higher and the rate of conversion of E s to, uh, to E p would be higher and with this in turn shows the kinetic efficiency of enzymes correct. So, there is a significance of every term um, in enzyme kinetics like first we study uh, first we are introduced with a term then uh, we are introduced with a definition of the term then we explore uh, one equation of the term and then the significance of that study correct and you need to be very very clear. Now transformation of Michaelis Menten equation or the double reciprocal plot we have studied Michaelis Menten equation now uh, this equation can be transformed to an equation which is more useful in plotting experimental data by taking the reciprocal on both sides. So, if you just inverse on both sides the Michaelis Menten equation, you will find that 1 upon V naught is equal just inverse Km plus S upon V max into S. When you solve further uh, this equation, you will find that 1 upon V naught you can uh, differentiate into it, it into two parts like uh, Km divided by V max into S plus S divided by V max into S or 1 upon V naught is equal Km upon V net uh, V max into S plus the S concentration of S plus S uh, the concentration of substrate can be uh, cancelled in the equation number 2 and you will find that simply it becomes 1 upon V max and this is what we called line weaver Burke equation 1 upon V naught is equal Km upon V max into S plus 1 upon V max this is the line weaver uh, Burke equation. What is the need to do the reciprocal on both sides when we have Michaelis Menten equation? Because a plot of 1 upon V naught versus 1 upon S is a straight line and a straight line uh, graph is simple to design as well and it can be simplified into y is equal mx plus c. Correct? You must have uh, studied this equation in your 10th or 12th standard I hope. So, where m where m is equal to the slope of the graph c is the y intercept. So, it is used to interpret v max from position of the intercept on y axis. So, when a graph is a straight line graph you can uh, solve it with the equation very simply by y is equal mx plus c. And when you see the line weaver Burke equation right here, you can uh, easily compare that 1 upon V naught uh, is equal to Y is equal to Km upon V max shows the value of M and 1 upon X shows the value of X plus 1 upon V max shows the value of intercept, the Y intercept. Now focus on this graph that 1 upon V naught is plotted versus 1 upon X, eh, 1 upon concentration of substrate and this is a straight line graph here. So, there are two intercepts found here, one on the Y axis, one on the X axis. The intercept which is on the Y axis represent 1 upon V max value or the value of C and the intercept on the uh, X axis shows the value of negative reciprocal of Km, correct? and the slope or the value of m is equal to k max upon v k m upon v max. So, it is useful in distinguishing certain types of enzymatic reaction mechanism and in analyzing enzyme inhibition which we will discuss in the next video correct. So, uh, we have uh, studied so much and I hope you are clear with the basic concepts what we studied so far. So, it is time to discuss a few questions correct starting from the question 1 which of the following statements regarding how enzymes increase the rate of reaction is false does enzyme lower acti activation energy does enzyme lower transition state energy does enzyme reduce uh, time required for the reaction of to reach equilibrium or increase k equilibrium of the reaction we found that 
all the three values are correct but the fourth value is false write the question the false value is asked correct second the ability of for an enzyme to pick out one particular substrate from the myriad of molecules floating around its environment is an example of enzyme's specificity we know third the enzyme substrate complex always proceed to form product rapidly always breaks down to form free enzyme and substrate always breaks down to form free enzyme and product or may break down to free ens or free enp and the fourth option is correct because it can be break down into ens uh, or free enp correct so this is the homework question for you which is a very simple question and if you remember the formula uh, you should write the answer in the comment section so keep revising uh, and clear all the concepts as in the next video it will be going to quite tough because we will discuss enzymatic inhibition correct happy learning mm -hmm.